on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> time is it? Izuka Midoriya. Yeah, who's asking? Uh, <clears throat> I am uh, David Shield. Oh. Um, well, you see, we would like to uh, talk with you. Just take it out, my supervisor. Or should I say, my handler, wherever the hell he is. Ah, uh, well, about him. What? Did he get fired or something? No, he's dead. What? Joe's dead? Wait. What's going on here? Azuku, he's turning his head, looking at all the weird fangled technology, wondering, where the fuck am I? But it's like, calm down. Calm down, Mr. Midoriya. We can uh, explain everything. No, no, no. No, explain to me how my uh, supervisor is dead. I mean... Seriously, it was just supposed to be a simple in and out mission, just checking out this, uh, what was it, ah, uh, I can't, either way, uh, I was supposed to be checking something. And something went wrong, but I don't remember. Ah! Now calm down. How can I stay calm if I can't even remember why I was here in the first place? Well, you were sent here to see if there's anything that you could do about global warming. What? Yes. Me. <laughs> you decided to use my ice power just for that? Hmm. Can't say I'm playing. I'm really fucked up. This world is so bad. It might as well use these abilities for good. Wait. Doesn't explain why Joe's dead. Okay, how can I explain this? Izuku learning that, yes, it turned out he was frozen for many years. This is pretty much as what the hell, what the fuckery you could just imagine. As he's pretty much calling bullshit. Yeah, safe to say he did not take that very well. David, he's trying to explain that, yes, Cor to our test, this ice has been, well, frozen, frozen, and you have been encasing it for many years, so we're so sorry about that, but yes, you've been encased in this ice prison for many years. 
but that makes no sense. What do you mean? I mean, if I was just supposed to stop the ice caps from melting for a while, I could have just, you know, put some ice on it, make it the coldest I've ever done it. I mean, heck, I'm completely immune to cold. What? Yeah. I mean, the cold doesn't bother me. Really? That's interesting, actually. Yeah. yeah. But it can be a pain in the ass. We're near people. Sometimes my attitude can get the best of me. <laughs> Uh, you, whenever I was in the bar, you can just imagine how many people would just have to tell me to leave. And, oh, wait a minute. You say I'm in the future, so explain that shit. Oh. <clears throat> well, as you can, you've heard of cryo sleep, correct? Yes. Well, due to your actions, if, however, you ended up this way. That's what you did. So, I, I put myself in the in hibernation mode or whatever. Yes. Okay. So, what about the others, the other Bridgeland T's or heroes or whatever? What about them? There are no more vigilantes. What? Yeah. But there are still heroes. As well as villains in the ranking system. What? Hero rankings? Please tell me you're joking. Uh, why? Was there something wrong with that? Yes. If you start classifying heroes... Do a rating system, don't you think that will probably cause some problems, you know? Hmm. Do tell. Like what? Let's say this one hero isn't as popular as this other one. They might get paid more, you gotta get loved more, more. Hmm. Wait, do you just do merchandise and such? Nowadays? But I. Actually, yes. Yes, exactly. The more money has been um, that's on the table, the more people are gonna want to grab at it, and <laughs> things go a little bad when it comes to the oh, I just need to be more popular and I can get more money. Sooner or later, the whole wanting to be a hero for just this reason is going to be more and more, you know, huh? Actually, uh, hmm. Okay, that's interesting. <sighs> Either way, ah, if anything, uh, I do need to do something. I, wait, what about my my kid? What? Yeah, my kids, I... Where's May? Wh who? My daughter, where is she? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Oh, you know who I am, but you don't know anything about my family? My wife? My sister? What happened? Um... I'm sorry, but chances are they're gone. You've been gone for a little over, I'm sorry, but a little over a hundred years. No, 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 that's... 
That can't be right, no. Izuku, he's getting more upset. And the more upset he's getting, the more cold they realize it's getting. To the point where they're trying to think of some way to get him to calm down. And he's like, wait, why are your arm? Huh? Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I... That's probably from a fight or something, most likely. Nothing to worry about. <sighs> but seriously. So you're sure? Positive? Yes. Okay. That's... That's concerning. Very, very much... Fuck, man. It's supposed to be an easy job. At least... I should have just been home. For I know, I might have grandkids or something. This... This is some real... As then he feels... Was who turned out the heat? Endeavor walking on the scenes. Hmm. So this is the one who helped get global warming. Huh. Looks like uh, there's an inferno amongst us. I fought against your type before. What? Hotheads. People who have a, a temper, quick to anger, stubborn as hell. <laughs> Not like us ice users. We were a lot more popular. Much more well received than you. <laughs> What's wrong, Sparky? As Zuko, he just being an ass just blows a puff of air, just puts out Endeavor's fire. <laughs> Whatever. Him just walking. As then he knows his. Wait. Huh. Fire user, there may be some ice users left. Always stuck with them. Do you know any? <laughs> As Endeavor, he's a. I married one. Really? Yes. Wow. I'm sorry for your loss. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Chances are, if you actually bury one of the ice users, at least one of the ones I knew, chances are you ain't got no, no feeling left down there. Oh, Sparky. <clears throat> Sparky. No one says that anymore. I don't give a damn. Seriously, I just woke up oh, after being asleep for a little over a hundred years. I think I've earned the right to be a smart ass. Take me to them. What? My fellow ice users, I need to talk to my peeps. Uh, no, do it yourself. Here's the name of the hospital. A hospital. Is, yes, Endeavor knows this is the drop in temperature. Him turning up the heat, he's looking at turning it down. It is, what do you mean, hospital? What the fuck did you do? I didn't do anything. Blame her. Okay, 
Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll see about that. As, yes, Izuku, upon heading towards the hospital, he sees how much the technology has either advanced or sees what could have stayed the same but hasn't. And it's a culture shock for him because he sees people looking a lot different, people looking slightly to just having fangs to being giant. Seeing the hero just plastered everywhere, the costumes, this, the flamboyantness and everything, he's like, this is nothing like I was when I was a hero. Or a vigilante. No one cared about the flashy costumes. <sighs> Man, what? What has happened to them? this world while I was gone? This damn new generation must have made them soft after all these years. He realizes, wait, this is a psychiatric hospital? I am going to turn that sparky fire using bastard into a popsicle. If he did anything to one of mine. Then he knocks on the door and sees Ray. Him seeing the, the pure, like, I, I am not all there. She, she kind of broken, but trying to piece herself back together. Let's look. He is pissed. And as soon as he starts bringing out temperature, she like, wait, what? Her just getting up, walking towards him, and feeling Izuku's face. Him like, okay, okay, let's not do the. Him looking at her, like, May? No, no. Wait, who? How do you know my mom? My mom? Wait. Her, her just reaching around, just taking out this locket. And it's a Zizuku. His wife, Kirie, and as well as uh, Ray's mom. Her just handing it to him. <laughs> I guess she ended up getting that family she, well, she wanted. But then realizing that he has a granddaughter who he hasn't met, that he's missed so much of her life. First steps. He missed the wedding and all this shit is pretty much like, oh god, no. I miss out so much. Him just looking at Ray, just wondering what happened to her. Her explaining what she did and why she's there. Ugh. It's gonna be, pretty soon. Endeavor's gonna be dealing with a blizzard at his house because Izuku marches down there, knocks down the door where Shoto and everyone else, minus Toya, is pretty much. Who are you? Who is not those kids? As he see his glowing blue eyes, his white hair, the sheer snow just emanating from him, just from being in the room. Uh, we live here. Are you here? To, where's your, where's Endeavor? Where's that bastard? Endeavor noticing 
the change in temperature. He stomps there asking them kids, which one y'all doing this? Hoping that Shoto kind of was like, what are you doing here? What did you do to my granddaughter? Why have you done? Wait. Him just looking at little Shoto's. Oh. So you're the one. Uh, what? Just patting on his head like I... So sorry this happened to you. What? Izuku just staring daggers. As you can just tell, it never is kind of like, wait, wait, granddaughter. As in, he knows his. Ice spikes start to envelop the room as they get ever so closer to him, pretty much having him be stopped in his tracks. Him turning up the heat, melting them, but Izuku just brings up more to a point where Endeavor is at risk for hypothermia. Because pretty much Izuku having so much experience as well as having battle experience. Over God knows how many years. Yeah, he knows how controlled how cold his ice is. To near perfection. Endeavor's fire can't keep up with it. At the very least, it's keeping him from going into hibernation himself. It's like, what do you want? I want you to explain. How you let this happen to my granddaughter? Who, who's your granddaughter, Ray? What? You emotionally and physically abused my granddaughter. And now, I want you to explain yourself. Otherwise, there's going to be one less hero in the world. Natsuro, Foyumi, and Shoto, they don't know what to really do here. At the very least, if they want to. Because for all they know, this is pretty much in every game, his comeuppets for all the treatment. But he has nothing to really say, but it was a quirk marriage. A what? Court marriage. <sighs> Be more specific, because I sure as I don't know what that is. As, yeah, Fuyumi, she decides to. Uh, well, you see, our father technically bartered for our mom. In which a court marriage where her fire, fiery uh, husband, our dad, pretty much wanted to make a child with. So you're saying that she was sold to this man? Yes. Where? are my kids what where's your grandparents dear I I don't know I I haven't seen them in some time dad won't let us and mom you know doesn't want to talk about it oh <sighs> Okay. But I'm gonna find them. As soon as I do, they are gonna be punished. 
Zuko just walking out. So I was like, wait. What is it? Um, so, you're our, I, I'm your great-grandfather, and your mom is my granddaughter. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> yes way. Turns out I've been sleeping on the job, so I need to fix that a little bit. Looks like I got some real work to do. As he then just finds himself surrounded out of nowhere by SWAT team, then just like, is it Midoriya? Yes? You're coming with us. Why? David Shield. What about him? He has more questions for you. Listen, I already have a lot to do. First, I need to discipline my kid. Second, I need to get my granddaughter back into the right frame of mind. Third, I need to fix my family. As well as fix Sparky over here. <laughs> huh, who said that? Just looking at Shoto, just trying his best not to laugh. Trying to be a lord in the making. It's okay to laugh. Believe me. Why don't you endeavor? You're going to be singing how you stand on sunshine. Huh, what about you guys? Do you have quirks? Them still being like, should we really trust you? I mean, yeah, you said you're a great grandfather, but oh, we don't know you at all. Considering how you just pretty much humiliated our father, uh, makes it a little bit better, but still shows. Like, I have two quirks. Really? Show me. He starts off using the ice, but then he then uses a fire. Wait, he used my fire side. <laughs> it's not your quirk anymore. Okay, let me see. So you have my ice and that blowhard's fire. I guess it's yours now, I suppose. But, hmm, what the? Is that he knows his? Uh, looks like he can't really utilize it that much. At least not like me. What are you talking about? What, what, what do you mean? Well, it seems to be, you seem to be a bit a little shivery, don't you think? Huh, don't you have cold immunity? Like me? What, what? <sighs> Let me show you. Him just slapping his hands together and just conjures up an ice cube. As yes, they see that, oh, it's a, if that was an ice cube, they know something off about it. Here, catch. Show t grabbing it, but just instantly dropping it. It's like, that was very cold. Exactly. Huh, what about you, kid? Uh, what's your name? Uh, for Yumi. You try. She can barely hold it a little bit longer than Shoto, but not enough to be like, oh man. Not very impressive. That's not so. He was like, nope, nope, nope. Ow, 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 ow. 
As, yeah, they know that they're starting to get some redness. Yeah, you guys don't have my immunity to the cold. Yikes. Well, you're going to fix that if you actually want to utilize your ice side, kid. Who knows, maybe with enough practice, he's literally just picking it up like it's nothing. As he just starts to shift it and change it into snowflakes, a diamond shape, anything he could really think about to the point where, heck, even an ice spike, as he just tosses it at Deborah, him trying to burn it, but uh, it doesn't work. Heck, even Endeavor can't hold it for too long, which impresses him even more. And then he just starts controlling it and having it fall straight back to him. Him just crushing it into nothingness. How is that possible? Because <laughs> you get your power from me, boy. <laughs> yeah. You see... When I was young, we didn't have, well, we did know what they were, but we didn't. These gave them a classification of quirks just to make it sound more, you know, mysterious, or at least to give a classification. You see, I am one of the more prime quirk users. Huh. Yeah, I guess you could call us one of the originals. But as time passed, I believe more people have gotten quirks. More people ended up, uh, you know, more versatility. But I think it was like this. Mm hmm. Huh. Uh. 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 Wait, what are you doing? Uh. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Whew, thank goodness, because if I were to sneeze, who knows? There would have been a snowstorm. Were you mean just laughing it off? Is the goose just looking all serious? Oh no, I'm serious, yes. Really? Oh yeah, that's how powerful I became over the years. Huh, now where was I? Oh yeah. When it came to these, some of these quirks, some of them were mm, like being able to glow or something, uh, some slight telekinesis. Oh, who am I kidding? We were powerful. And the more people who had the quirks, the more dangerous they have potentially becoming. To the point where before, I guess all this, hmm, they would have you register. And either put you to work somewhere, or depending on how they were classify you how you be a hero or a vigilante what oh yeah <laughs> believe me like only thing is with kind of vigilantes they they're more of a last resort type thing like and the heroes, they have more red tape to go through. The vigilantes, mm, they were more, they were organized, but they had a longer leash. Which one were you? Mm, I think I was part of the vigilante district. I want to be a hero, but 
thought, no, that's not going to help. And if anything, Vigilantes could go freelance, but the only thing is, if anything went sideways, yeah, we took the brunt of the whole thing. We be punished. It was jail time, fines, you name it. Too much collateral damage or loss of life. We could stand to uh, be in life in prison or the death penalty, depending on where it stood at the time. But one thing for sure, the government knew what they had and knew they needed to control it. It's like the pieces of shit they are. <sighs> yeah. Very least, rich aunties got paid uh, per job. Doesn't matter how tedious it was. I mean, it, sometimes we would have to actually save cats from a tree. <laughs> uh, from taking down dictators who had done the world. And oh, believe me, it was no picnic. But depending on the severity of the job it will also depend on how we get paid if you were a solo you would get paid more of course especially if you completed it the only thing is uh, the damage w would uh, also affect your pay depending on how much gets broken how many people get hurt or killed Ugh, it was quite the system back then. So pretty much made it so we have we had to be careful. At least when it came to being heroes, the government backed you up even more. Like train lap dogs while we were pretty much you know kinda like the Muscat Wolves. But man, running into heroes, people would praise them more than us. Why? Well, that's mainly because they had the people's trust more. Because the government backed them more than us. We had no real safety net if things go sideways. So people were more afraid of us considering that we were pretty much like a gun with the safety off. <sighs> yeah. Not everyone cared for us. But I didn't care as long as I kept my family safe. Kept food on the table, you know, uh, the usual things. <laughs> Parents, husbands, and whatnot, fathers would worry about protecting their family, keep, make sure that they don't have to go without. And I did that. Now that was a lovely story. What? <sighs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> well, my name is unimportant. Okay. So, what do you want? I would like to talk to you about illegal pork usage. What? As in, the, he looks at Shadow and the others like, are you serious? It's illegal for us to use our quirks in public? Yes. Are you, are you serious? No. You can't, you, you gotta be kidding me.
Yes. So it looks like we're going to place you under arrest. And you will have to beat Mr. Shield some other time. <sighs> okay, listen here. I'll be willing to go with you guys. But I am not under arrest. You act like you... You have no idea how powerful we were back then, do you, son? Uh, son... <laughs> oh, how silly. You, you expect me to... Oh, come on. Though, yes, you look older. You can't deny that I have seniority over you when it comes to life. You were sleeping for a very long time, Mr. Midoriya. True. However, that also means, uh, what exactly? When's the last time you've ever been in a fight, kid? Uh, excuse me? When's the last time you got him punched, kicked in the gut, hell, hit right between the the legs? Do you remember the last time you were actually been in a real fight? Uh, 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 I um, you don't, do you? Do you want me to remind you? <clears throat> Take me to David Shield. As, yeah. Endeavor is still, like, I can't believe that actually happened. Him still feeling the sheer coldness that was that ice spike he threw at him. While Shoto and the others are pretty much... So that was our great grandfather. Wow. Now, Izuku talking to David Shield. He had more questions for him. Well, Izuku also has questions like, why is the world so fucked up? Like this whole rule about the restrictions of quirk usage. What if someone was hurt? And this person in the crowd had a healing quirk. They wouldn't, maybe if they were deputized or something. No, that that could be crucial time wasted for a hero to get. <sighs> and there are no vigilantes. No, none of them left. No. My handler's gone. My family. <sighs> Is then like, okay, Mr. Midoriya, I have someone who uh, would actually like to meet you. As then in comes May, Izuku's daughter. She's older, definitely. And she just runs up to hug Izuku, him embracing her all the same. Be also, he styles like, Ugh. You know you ain't too old to get an ass whooping. What? You sold your daughter. Uh, listen, I'm so sorry. No, don't don't apologize to me. When's the last time you seen Ray? I, um, exactly. You need to go down to that hospital. 
and apologize. They go down to the Endeavor's residence. Oh, you can just call him the NG Toroki. Well, whatever. Toroki residence and apologize to those grandkids. I met the husband. I don't like him. And this whole court marriage business is a bunch of bullshit. I don't like that either. Dad? Don't, don't dad me. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't want to hear it. You, you're going to have to set things right with that little girl. But she's, she's a grown adult. Yes, I know. And because of you, I'm getting to spoil my grandkids. Well, well, my great-grandkids, I can. But I missed the opportunity there. What about Halloween, trick-or-treating, all that good shit that we could have done together? I missed so much. All because I... I, uh... What was it again you said, Shield? You were trying to aid with the global warming issue. Right. Wait, global warming? But I thought you said... What? Nothing. Nothing, Dad. So, if anything, you really want to see me again, huh? Yes. Okay. Now listen here. Uh, as much as I would love to really reminisce and talk about everything I missed. I have a lot to do here. All this stuff is different. It's worrisome to me. It's all new. It's like a huge ass culture shock for me. So forgive me for not being as, you know, I understand that. You haven't changed a bit you look exactly the same as when you first left before you went missing or at least they couldn't get you out of that block of ice yeah if anything I must have really wanted that shit to last hmm Seriously. Well, why would I put so much effort into it? To the point where I would have frozen myself solid. Just makes no sense. Hmm. Well, Dad. I'll see you some time later. Sure. Sure, just remember what I said. Apologize to your daughter and your grandkids. That is not a request. That is a order. His name just walks out. <sighs> Yes, uh, if I'm gonna reintegrate into society, I'm gonna need to learn all the rules and get a job. Yes. In which, hmm, I mean, you can't re go to a hero high school. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, high school for heroes? What are you talking about? Well... 
No. No, 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 this is stupid. Well, there are college options. Seriously? So, they're just implementing quirk usage into... Oh. On one hand, that's a good idea, especially for those young ones who don't know, like... Wait, why don't you say not about elementary school or kindergarten? Huh? Wait. Are you saying... High school... Is the earliest these kids can actually legally utilize their quirks? Not when they're young? More impressionable? Quick learners? Well... Yes. Oh, what kind of a future have I stumbled on to? I'm so I'm sorry, what's wrong? It's stupid. <sighs> Seriously, I remember back in my day when someone recently got their quirk, it was a big deal. It scared them. They didn't know what to do with it, they didn't know how to really control it or anything. But now it could be the same damn thing. It's just... Oh. This hurts me. This just hurts my brain. It makes no sense how yo it could be so stupid. I... I, um, I wouldn't just... blatantly say that, but... I suppose I can understand your frustration. Yes, you're pretty much telling me that these kids are going to wait years before they can actually get any true help. I mean, yeah, you may know what the crew can do and whatnot, but... <gasps> hmm. So, how's, uh... Shigaraki doing? Who? Shigaraki. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he was fighting with his uh, brother. What? You 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 don't. <sighs> this. Okay. Here, there was this guy down in the vigilante circles and whatnot who could actually, uh, you know, give and take quirks. What? Yeah. I mean, it was the craziest thing. I mean, he pretty much did it to help people and whatnot, from what I heard, but, yeah. You're kidding. Oh, yeah, his brother did not like how it was doing. I heard they had a fight, but I was shipped off to you know where to... Or anything else really came of it. For what I saw, the people were actually happy. I mean, some people didn't want their quirks, so they happily gave them to them. Some other guys, they like, please give us a quirk to help do such and such and such, such whatever, blah blah blah. Wait, you're serious? Yep. And then, yeah, this is when, a few minutes later, All Might shows up. You said something about someone being able to take away and give quirks, did you? Yeah. I was just wondering what happened uh, after their, the whole altercation between 
the brothers. So you really don't? Wait, you knew all for one? No, I'm. No, no, I didn't. Heard of him, definitely. Uh, All Might, is this really? I believe so. What? What is it? <sighs> Mr. Midoriya, we will. Uh, you will uh, have to sit down for a moment. Uh, All Might, what's going on? I think it's time f for you to know the truth, David. The whole truth. Nothing but the truth. He can't handle the truth. Did you just say that? Yes, I did. Oh, goodness, it feels good to be out after so long. As this is pretty much David again, the whole story of All for One and One for All, as well as Zuku, him like. So he did have a quirk. <laughs> His quirk was just to pass on a quirk. Wait, actually, that's kind of that's kind of funny <laughs> when you think about it. What do you mean? Oh, think of it like this. Hey, Ugh. Oval One gave his brother. Uh, you know. A quirk that allows power to build up or whatever over time. Mixing that in with the ability to pass on quirks, that would be pretty overpowered. Like, say if you... Wait. How do you know this? Uh, well... I am the eighth user one for all you don't say ah huh. that is very interesting <sighs> from what I've seen when it comes to the billboards posters and merchandise you are the number one hero around here yes nice very nice very well, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. So, but at the very least, so he wasn't doing it out of the kindness for his, of his heart. He wasn't trying to help people. He was just trying to gain more power and allies. I must say, I'm actually, that's actually pretty smart. Really? David. It's kind of like, uh... Hmm. Selling weapons to both sides. Either way, you make money off of it. So as long as no one knows you, you're doing it. <laughs> I can honestly say that is a very smart strategy. Taking away people's quirks under the guise of helping them. And giving them to the people who need them or want them. They want to make a difference or whatever. Who knows? Thank God he should be long dead by now. Unless he gave his quirk to someone else. Oof. He is dead, isn't he? Both of the Shiragi brothers are dead, right? No, no. I saw him when I was 16. What? But he should be dead long. How old are you? <sighs> No, 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 that, that can't be right. If he's still alive, he should be just 
around my age. Well, my typical chronological age. Do you know what this means? He's possibly been committing quirk after quirk after all these years. Do you know how much power, how much influence he might have by now? Uh. Wait. Another question. How come you're just telling me this like it, like it's supposed to, it's supposed to be this huge ass secret? Well, because it is. What?